Hello. Uh, I would like to give you another uh, little lesson on uh, perimeter and area. So I'm trying to move. There we go. Um, when we are talking about area, I gave you a, a reference slide here. It says area is the space inside of a shape. We can also think of area as the amount of space a shape covers. And as I told you in my last lesson, think about it as covering a floor with carpet. In this case, this rectangle, if you count the squares, there are 12. And so you're thinking of covering this whole shape with units. And, and they'll give us our units. Sometimes it will be inches, sometimes it'll be feet, sometimes it'll be centimeters, but we are covering the entire shape. And so this shape has an area of 12 square units because it is covered by 12 little squares. Now, while we're thinking about carpet with area, with perimeter, we're thinking about building a fence because perimeter is the total distance around the outside. So we're just thinking of the outside of the shape. And the way that we find perimeter is we're going to add all of the sides. So it's the distance around. Now, they didn't give us a specific um, measurement here, but we could think of, um, let's say that this is uh, six on the two wide sides. And we'll say that the ends are three. So if we had that, we would have six plus six plus three plus three. Six plus six is 12 plus three more is 15 plus three more is 18. So that would be 18 units. Area is measured in square units because we're filling it up with squares. Perimeter is just measured in units. So if this was a fence that was six by three by six by three, then we would say 18 square feet or 18, no, I'm sorry, 18 feet or 18 yards. It's not squares, it's the distance around. So we just use the measurement, 18 feet, 18 yards. Now I'm gonna do a couple with you. On these, they want us to find the area and the perimeter. And unfortunately, I don't have a way to write on these but we're going to do it and do just fine. So the first one is area and they have the square units. Area is covering the whole space like with carpet squares. So we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And so you're going to come down here, double click, and then you're going to put in the number of your answer. Okay? Now perimeter. We have 6 going this way, so I would label this with a 6 if I could. 
And if this one is 6, the one across from it is going to be 6, right? And then 3 over here and 3 over here. So this time we're going to add those. So we'd say 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 6 is 15 plus 3 is 18. Now that's kind of unusual that we got the same answer for both of them, but that doesn't mean it's wrong. Um, we don't, I mean it happens sometimes, but we don't always get the same measurement. Um, let's move to this second one, area. How many squares are covering it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Double click in my box and I put 20 square units. Now let's look here. We've got 4 going across. So this is going to be 4 on this side, which means that this side will also be 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then on this side, we've got 5, and over here we would have 5. So we're going to go 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 plus 4 is 13. 13 plus 5 is 18. So in this one, we're going to get a perimeter of 18. That's what I want you to do in the remaining slides. If you get mixed up or forget, please go back to this first slide in the slide deck and it will remind you area is covering like carpet. Perimeter is the distance around the outside. Okay? Please make sure that you think this is a very important uh, concept that we want to make sure that we have. And so please make sure and uh, 